This energy is deeply anticipatory. Someone is waiting for an answer, direction. From the outside, it could look like they are being procrastinators or even swinging their feet on a decision. The truth of the matter is this person has decided that a blessing is coming into them. They've decided they've made all the right steps and they are speaking to spirit. And spirit has told them that something is coming in for them. So they are patiently waiting. Eventually, this gift, this blessed thing that they've been promised or believe that they've been promised by the universe is going to show up. It will not be in the form expected. It'll come in. It'll be attached to a masculine energy. They're going to wish it wasn't. It'll come with stipulations. Those stipulations may cause someone to decide, I am going to hire professional help to eliminate the stipulations. This would be an excellent idea. There's also going to come confirmation and acknowledgement of their intuition. A thought they thought they were sure about. Something is going to come along in the form of information through their telephone. This could be a message or a phone call that details their knowing to be correct. That will only be half satisfying because this person knew that they were correct the whole time what they would have liked to known is that they were completely wrong they had the entire situation mistaken and there was something good that was actually happening that they'd completely missed this person will be disappointed that they knew the truth the entire time They'll also be disappointed that the truth still carves out that they were surrounded by people who they expected a higher level of behavior, intention, action, consideration, and love from didn't exist at all. This person is going to go into a psychological loop of trying to find themselves, their value, their worth, or lack thereof in this situation. A lot of why me, a lot of don't they see me as, have I not been this person to them? What must I do to be different? to be seen authentically that answer is extremely easy the universe will usher you into a new audience the universe is going to put you before eyes that have never seen you before they're going to connect you with a group of people a group of energies, a group of actions that are in alignment with what your spirit energy deserves. However, it was important for you to have this gut wrenching, absolutely life changing event take place so that your perspective of your environment is no longer clouded 
by the beauty of your own intentions, but instead you are being given an opportunity to see things just as they are. And the pain of understanding this perspective, of witnessing this truth, is the very thing you need or this person needs to move into the next phase of their reality without carrying the guilt along with them of leaving these energies in the past. Now, you may ask yourself, why would the universe need me to experience this level of pain before moving me into my future? The answer there is also very clear. The energies that have been dragging onto the hem of your garment the energies that have been purposefully putting brakes on your movement the energies who have been sucking your finances your love your energetic prowess been sucking it down into their own being to be greater people do not deserve have not earned the promise to be shared with them that God has set aside or the universe has set aside specifically for you my fair child for you my fair child There has been a long succession of challenges and triumphs. There's been a constant understanding of who you are, what role you played, and how you can improve when the next decision is to be made for your life. However, those people who have been dragging on your coattails have had absolutely no need to do the same sort of growth, uncovering, upgrading as you have along the way because they've only been inhaling all of your ascended goodness for themselves. That is not the way blessings work. That is not the way The universe pays attention to your growth. You don't get to sit on someone else's shoulders as they grow and that counts as your own growth. No. Our journeys are individual. Those people we meet along our journeys may influence us, inspire us, encourage us. They may also distract us, but our growth in connection with them is individual. You have done the work. Your blessings are sitting protected in the vortex. When you have properly removed yourselves from these energies you now realize have no good intentions for you or their own ascension only then will you be able to access the blessings that sit in the vortexual universe awaiting you awaiting a clearance to come in to you where it will not be devoured and consumed by those people who have not done the work and these blessings are huge the blessings that you've accumulated waiting for the coast to be clear for the energy to be safe for you to be in alignment and at peace and practice 
practicing your own protection and love constantly. Those blessings are ready as soon as spirit knows that you will take them and use them wisely and not and not use them to please those who have extracted from you, ignored you, left you unprotected, forgotten to consider you, chose to be jealous of you, decided to work against you. Once you are free, once you have seen your own value, you have locked in on your own self-worth and you have become protective of your own energetic space, spirit, and alignment. Until then, those blessings will sit and wait. So if you have not released those things that no longer serve you, those things that distract and stop you, those things that pull from you. If you have not released them, you should probably start looking for a job while you wait on your blessings to show up. Because you, my fair child, will wait for those blessings to appear until your coast is completely clear. <laughs>